Whitney. And I'm Leslie. And today we are talking about lab safety. Leslie is our, what's your unofficial, our safety, I'm going to say inspector. I feel like that's it's not. Safety instigator? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Now, I mean, we always try to be safe, and I'm sure you all have heard John hollering about different things on different videos, but Leslie is like, starting like doing like major weekly trainings for us and everything to like really hardcore yeah roll out a safety program so so i mean lab safety especially is so important because we do work with so many different chemicals and um, machines that can crush hurt you you know and, right. and I, mean, I don't know if any of you know this or not but brooke is not just somebody that i work with but she's also my sister-in-law and so I have a vested interest in making sure that she gets home to her family every day. Right. Not the rest of the team so much, mostly. <laughs> I know, mostly. But, <laughs> but, you know, I mean, we, we love each other. We love we being do. around we each do. other. And our biggest, um, I, I think our biggest thought process as a company is making sure that we do get to get home to our families. Right. I mean, why do you work if, if it's not to make sure that your family is taken care of? So, um, yeah, get home safely and... and um, yeah, make sure that you're paying attention to what you're right, doing. Right, absolutely. So I do have some stats from OSHA on worker fatalities. Uh, from 2018, there were 5,250 workers who died on the job Jeez. in 2018. So that's an average of 100 people per week or more than 14 per day. So, I mean, do you, do you really love your job enough to die for it? Like, right. pay attention to what you're doing. Let's make sure that everybody's... Absolutely doing what they're supposed to be. The top four fatal um, construction fatalities are falls at 33.5%, a struck by object at 11.1%, electrocutions at 8.5%, and caught in between at 5.5%. So, yeah, I mean, we don't always work in the safest of industries, right. and especially when it's something that you do day in and day out, you, you kind of forget those dangers sometimes. Oh, absolutely. Get that kind of false sense of security. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you really just don't think about it. So I think that's a great point, Leslie. I think we get, especially if it's something we've done so many times, we get very comfortable and just like, oh, I know, right. I, yeah. you know, it's all good. And it just kind of becomes this, this flow, which is fine. But like, you've got to think, take that minute and be right. like, okay, this is, nasty stuff I'm working with or heavy stuff, you know, whatever it is yeah. and kind of mentally like prepare and really get focused and make it a, a more formal act than an informal and relaxed act that I think we often do. So in the next video, yeah. we're going to be going more into a plan on how to set up a safety <laughs> procedure or a safety program. Right. But I mean, the biggest thing is just, I think it's taking that minute and that's something that we've tried to start doing too outside of our normal safety plan which we're going to be getting into but taking that minute before and evaluating what we're going to be doing because it can be truly catastrophic if right. we don't so even little things can become big problems if you're not taking a moment to slow down and think about what you're doing so that's right anyways be safe thanks so much for joining like subscribe deem that bell for notifications go concrete beat asphalt